Well, students at a local high school are getting a leg up at scoring jobs at Foxconn. Our Julia Fellow spoke exclusively to the school leader who put in some serious frequent flyer miles to gain that valuable knowledge. Shoreland Lutheran High School is just two miles from where the new Foxconn site is going to be built. But one school leader traveled all the way to Taiwan to make sure his students stand out from all the rest. No photos were taken once Paul Scriver got inside Foxconn, but what he saw is something he'll never forget. Just uh, looking at cutting edge technology and um, had an opportunity to meet with some people in their M group. Um, so what does M group stand for? Medical group. That's a big part of what they do and will be part of what they do here in Wisconsin too. Scriver was able to see mock-ups of technology that doesn't even exist yet. This device monitoring my daughter's a nurse, so thinking of ways that would help her. Kind of like, like the Star Trek. He's in cardiac arrest. Close to it, yeah. The curriculum in science, math, and technology has already been tweaked for students back at home, specifically for skills Foxconn is looking to develop. And it's supposed to go on the bottom one, too. And he hopes to build upon their biomed classes. Scriver's main mission to Asia was to recruit students in China and Vietnam to the Badger State. So they have an eagerness to, to get to the American dream. They all want to be engineers. Apparently, so that worked out well for us to be able to show them our our dedicated engineering program. Their goal is for 10% of their student body to be international students. It's one more way Scriver hopes to become a globally ready school and stand out to those Foxconn recruits. It's a passion of their company to find new ways to help people and, you know, Maybe they can have the cure for cancer. And because of this trip alone, they hope to have up to eight new international students come to Shoreland Lutheran High School by next fall. Reporting in the village of Summers, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.